Why hello there everyone! It is time for us to delve into another topic in today's Let's Talk Danganronpa Halloween Edition. I surely wouldn't want to let this opportunity go away since I wouldn't be able to do this any other time of the year. So sit back, relax, and let's go and see about today's topic, which is going to be a fun one. And make sure to answer today's question with your own picks in the comment section. So let's begin. Alright, but let's start this part by asking ourselves, what costumes would the VF students wear for Halloween? Now, over the course of the month, I have seen some fan art of the VF students in different costumes, and I believe the ones that I have seen the most till now were with Maki dressed up as Red Riding Hood and Kaito dressed up as a wolf, or werewolf, and yeah, I, I would go with this too. Other ones that were easy picks for me are Kokichi as a jester, again, seeing quite a few fan art of him dressed up as a jester as well, Angie as an angel, which not only is it cute, and it ain't just because of her name that also makes me think of angels, but if you were to look at the color of her hair and her clothing, it does make you think of a somewhat of a reversed color palette for a typical angel, don't you think? You know, the white skin, blonde hair, white dress and wings. Whereas in Angie's case, it is white hair, yellow coat, and dark skin. Pretty interesting when I think about it. Next one is Mui Iruma, who I can mostly imagine dressed up as a succubus or a demon girl. But Antaro, I can imagine him being dressed up as a sexy vampire. Again, because of the fan art that I've seen of him dressed up as a vampire. And I can definitely see Kurekyo dressed up as a vampire as well. One big reason would be me thinking of the idea that, behind his mask, maybe he's hiding vampire teeth. That and his hair make me think that way, don't know why. Either a vampire or... a mummy, I guess. <laughs> because of the bandages that he's wearing on his, ha on his hands. Or any type of yokai, really, that I believe would be one of his first picks. What yokai, however? Eh, don't know, honestly. Maybe you guys can help me with that by telling me what Yokai Kurekyo would dress up as. Next is Ryoma Hoshi, who I can imagine going as a cat. Or a leprechaun. Riding a pogo stick. Chasing after Kiro Mitojo. Disguised as Jennifer Aniston. <laughs> nah, okay, but joking aside, in Kirumi's case, it is taking me quite a bit to think of a costume she could wear for Halloween, honestly. The only thing I can think of is for her to still wear a dress, but one that reflects a specific thing, like... A spider, maybe. In similar fashion to how you have the web pattern on her dress, you could expand on that to have her own costume. Like, be, be like the spider queen or something. With tiny spider legs on her back to also add 10 points to adorableness. Also, going back to Ryoma, I wasn't joking about him dressing as a leprechaun, riding a pogo stick. Just wanted to make that clear. I wasn't joking about about that. I do want to see Ryoma dressed up as a leprechaun, riding a pogo stick. Shuichi, I can totally see him rocking a classic Sherlock Holmes. Again, because of the fan art as well, but it makes sense as well. As for Kaede, well, at first I didn't really know what to think of. Until I, until I look back at the time when we did her Panic Talk action segment, with her in a dress and a mask, and it got me thinking, she could go as a phantom thief, the girl that Shuichi keeps chasing after, since he plays the detective role. And why have Shuichi chasing after her? Well, <laughs> it's all up to your interpretation. Me, I like to think that Kaede keeps stealing stuff from Shuichi just to tease him. <laughs> Tsumugi is another one that I was having a hard time thinking of costumes for her. And go figure, the one that is known for cosplaying as many things, I would have a hard time thinking of costumes for her as well. Until I realized, wait a minute, she is plain girl! She can be a ghost! Like, remember all those times when you hear Tsumugi talk about something after half an hour of silence from her, making you think, oh, where have you been all this time? It's almost as if you disappeared! Or were invisible there. You know, like a ghost? Yep, totally fits her. Gonta, I can totally see rocking his favorite type of bug. Now, I cannot say that I really know his favorite bug, sadly. So, I'm gonna go ahead and say butterfly. Tenko is another easy pick, after remembering that she and her master were also acting as the heroes of justice. 
and helping people. I can definitely see Tenko rocking a superhero in costume. Like that one girl from Danganronpa Kill Cure fan cities that I keep hearing about. The one they are still working on. The girl with that is an ultimate local hero. Plot twist. The local hero is actually Tenko's twin sister. I'm sure Tsumugi would agree with me on that one. Alright, last ones that I have here, who, oddly enough, are the ones that I was having a hard time thinking of costumes for as well. And those are Kibo and Himiko. Obviously because, if you are to think about it, they already look like they are rocking their own Halloween costumes. And because of that, it makes it hard for me to imagine them as anything else. In the end, I did come up with some ideas. One being that they would swap their clothes. Kibo would end up looking like a mage slash magician, and Himiko would end up looking like a robot. Which also reminds me of two pieces of fan art I have found a long time ago with a talent swap between Himiko and Kaito. With Kaito as a magician and Himiko as an astronaut. <laughs> it's really adorable. Though, I couldn't really stop there. I really wanted to see if I can find something good for them, and I finally came up with some good ones. Kibo can go with a white coat and glasses, like a professor, a scientist, like Professor Idabashi, the most important person in his life. And I do have fan art of this as, too, as well, which looks really awesome. He looks really, really handsome in that white coat. As for Himiko, well, admittedly, I did end up asking some people too for some ideas. And so, this is what I came up with. Black Neko Himiko. Now, of course, the idea of Himiko being dressed up as a cute cat is one that is impossible to refuse. To the point where, if I even think about her dressed up as a cat, it would make me explode due to cuteness overload. Like this. And just hugging her while she is dressed up as a cute cat would make me go like this. But it does make sense too. I mean, when you think of witches, you also think of black cats too, right? Best example I can give is Kiki's Delivery Service, my favorite Studio Ghibli movie. So you can think of it as Himiko wanted to see how it feels like to be a witch's black cat for a day. And that's about it. We covered everyone, so make sure that you write your own picks for which costumes you see the V3 students wear for Halloween. I know that this particular part is going to end up a bit shorter than what I imagined at first. Would have been great if I went for two topics, but I cannot say that I had enough time to make this part longer than it is now. And again, I didn't want to let this opportunity to go away. Also, as I have stated before in other videos, it will take me some more time till I will come back and do Let's Talk Dangarompa on a more regular basis. As I've said, I am planning on making this series last for a really long time, with tons and tons of topics. It's just that right now, I really want to get some stuff done first work my way so that I will end up having even more free time in my hands. As of now, I have to finish Ultimate Talent Development Plan first, otherwise I will explode 5 times per day. As for the next uh, Let's Talk Danganronpa parts, I do have in plan to do two character analyses. I already started both of them, one of which I have already hinted at at the end of last Let's Talk Danganronpa I did for Rantaro, and the other one, I will keep it a secret for now. As is, thank you guys for watching, I wish you a happy Halloween and a lovely day in general, and I'll see you guys next time.